Have you ever wanted to schedule a text message? Maybe you want to remind a family member of a doctor's appointment or a family event coming up. You could even use it to let someone know you're safe and heading home now. Apple didn't build this into iMessages, but there is a workaround using Apple's Shortcuts app. The Shortcuts app is pre-installed on iPhones running iOS 13 or newer. If you don't see it on your device, you can always download it from the App Store. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. You'll need to locate the Shortcuts app. This is what it looks like. If it's not in your app library where you can see it, tap up here in the app library and start typing Shortcuts and it will appear. I'm going to go ahead and open the Shortcuts app. And then down at the very bottom, you have three options. We are going to choose the automation option, so make sure that that's blue. And then in the upper right corner, we're going to tap on the plus sign. Here we come into whether we want to create a personal automation or a home automation. We're going to go ahead and create a personal automation. And now we need to select what we need to do. So for this automation, we need to select a time of day. And so now we'll, we'll select the time that we want to send this text message. So I'm going to go ahead and just say, uh, let's choose 10 a.m. And I am going to choose this monthly. And the reason uh, I'll explain that in a little bit later, but I'm going to go ahead and choose monthly and scroll down a little further. And now we want to choose the date which we want to send this message. So I've created an Easter message. So I'm going to have that message go out on Friday the 15th. And I'm going to go ahead and tap next. And now we need to add an action. Well, we know that we want to send a message, so that's the action that we need to create. So I'm going to tap on send message, and you'll see that message is highlighted in blue and recipients is highlighted in blue. What you want to do here is tap on message, and here's where you'll, where you'll add the message that you want to send. I am just going to paste in a message that I already created. And it says, don't forget Easter brunch is on Sunday at 10 a.m. We're meeting at the restaurant. See you there. And then I'm going to tap on recipients. And I can either add phone numbers or I can hit the plus sign and go into all my recipients. For right now, I'm just going to type in... Uh, One of my sisters and I'm going to go ahead and select add and you can add as many people as you want to this message. When I'm finished, I'm going to go ahead and tap on done and it's going to say to me, I'm sending it to Sheila and the message that's being sent. Once I'm finished, I'm going to go ahead and tap on next. Now you'll see that at 10 a.m., monthly on the 15th, this message will be sent. And do we want the message to ask us before running? Well, um, if it's an automation, I don't want it to ask me every time I run the automation. So I'm going to turn that on. And it says, you know, it gives you a message, don't ask before running. And yes, that's what I want. I'm going to go ahead and say, don't ask. But I want to be notified once the automation has been run. And I'll tell you why in a second. So I'm going to tap on notify when run and I'm going to tap on done. So let's come back into this message and just take a look at it. The message has, has been enabled. So on the 15th of April, this message will run. It'll send it out and it'll notify us that the message has been sent. Once it does, at this point, if we only want that message to run one time, well, we can come back in and just toggle off that switch 
for enable this automation. So the message will get sent when we want it to be sent, we'll be notified about it, and then we can disable the automation. But the automation is there for us anytime we want to use it. So let me tap on done. You'll see that the automation has been disabled. I can come back in and edit that automation anytime I want so that it sends a message when I want it to, notifies me, and sends the message, and then I can disable it. Why would you want to do that? Well, maybe you schedule a doctor's appointment, and the doctor's appointment is scheduled three months in advance, but you don't want to have to remember a week before that you've scheduled that appointment and may need a ride to it. So you can go ahead, create this automation, put in the dates and the times that you want that automation sent. It'll be sent to whoever you want it sent to. And then once you've been notified that it's been run, you can go ahead and disable that. But it allows you to create the message immediately instead of waiting for weeks maybe and then saying, oh, I forgot that I needed to send a text message to my mother, my sister, my brother, whoever, that I need a ride to the doctor's appointment. When we first set up this automation, we set it up so that it would run every month. And I know that we really don't want it to run that way, but that's the only way that Apple allows us to set it up at this point. But so we know that we can set a starting date. So that's the date that we want the message sent. And by sending it out monthly, we'll be notified that the message was sent. And once we're notified, then we can come back in and turn off the automation so that we can use this automation over and over again. I hope you're willing to give automations a try. And if you do, let me know in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.